of the most powerful forces in our lives, a force either for good or for evil, is the habits that we either cultivate for good or fall into for evil. I wonder, how healthy are your habits? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. As someone who hates physical exercise with a passion, for a long time, I'd hear the experts say, you need to exercise as you age, but I did nothing about it. Until one day earlier this year, I was convicted in my heart that unless I do something, my muscle mass and bone density will continue to deteriorate, which won't position me all that well heading into my later years. So now every morning, except Sundays, as soon as I get out of bed, I do as many push-ups and squats as I can, and three days a week, some high intensity interval training to get my heart rate up. I feel frankly fantastic, but it wasn't just listening to the experts that did it. It was building some good habits. And in the same way, do what God's teaching says. Don't just listen and do nothing. When you only sit and listen, you're fooling yourselves. Hearing God's teaching and doing nothing is like looking at your face in the mirror and doing nothing about what you saw. You go away and you immediately forget how bad you look. But when you look into God's perfect law that sets people free, pay attention to it. If you do what it says, you'll have God's blessing. Never just listen to his teaching and forget what you heard. So don't just sit there, get moving. That's God's word fresh for you today.